Here with head coach Cammie Etheridge. Coach, just opening statement after today's 65-56 loss to number 18, 19 Arizona State. A lot of good things, so many good things, so many, um, you know, building block things. We talked about just um, really an Arizona State team that's built on toughness, and uh, they've Charlie's really instilled that in her program for years and years and years, and it's something that we need to hang our hats on. And, and I really, we really challenged our team to step on the floor and and uh, stand up to their toughness and and have some resiliency and 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 really, you know, take the hits that come at us. And I just thought we started the game great. I thought we had great energy. It's exactly what we need to do and how we need to play uh, to be successful. Uh, we did a lot of things tonight that would have beaten a lot of teams and. You know, unfortunately, we just, you know, it's a great defensive team and we struggled to score in the second half. And, you know, they can separate in a lot of different ways. And as you said, they're a very tough defensive team and they really turned on the pressure in the final three minutes of the game. They held you guys scoreless for the final 311. What were they doing out there defensively that kind of limits your guys' opportunities and kind of shuts you down there, down the stretch? Well, I don't, you know, again, we scored 10 points in the fourth quarter. I'll have to watch the film. I mean, I, I do think we got some really good looks at the rim. I think we missed a couple of layups. I think we had an offensive rebound in our hands, and it ended up in a layup on the other end. Um, I think Yo got two shots that we would take every day of the week uh, wide open. Um, I think we turned down a wide open shot by Nell. And, and, and so I, I don't think, we can just sit there and say, and maybe, maybe, maybe their defense just locked us up, and there were no shots to be had, and we we ran stuff, and we couldn't get a shot. I'm just I'm not convinced of that because I think we we had some looks of, by the people that we wanted to shoot, and you know, and that could be fatigue, that could be um, a lot of reasons why you miss those, but that's the difference. Is is um, it's again they they separated by getting extra possessions, offensive boards. They got to the line more than us, um, and they had a few more. We had a few more turnovers. So I just think those things really, um, you know, when you give them nine extra possessions, they're going to get a few more shots and, and points on the board. So we've just got to clean those things up. And you said there's some positives that you can pull out of this. I know no, there's no such thing as a moral victory, but you were able to lead for 25 plus minutes against an Arizona State team that beat number two Oregon and number three Oregon State last weekend. So, just kind of what, where can you grow off of that and just kind of take out a positive of that, knowing that you were able to go toe to toe with a team that's been able to beat some of the top teams in women's college basketball? You know, I just, I love the fact that we played more people tonight. I need, I wish I'd done that a little bit more in the second half. I think that kept our, our starters on edge a little bit more. Got to try to find ways to rest Bobby and, and Nell more. Uh, I liked their bench. I liked how hard we competed. I liked the energy they gave us. Um, so that's encouraging to me. I think we can we can build on that, and and I think you know playing more people is going to help us not only short term but long term. So I think that's a big thing. I think they stepped on the floor and competed with a high quality team and held their own and and was every bit as good as them for most of the game. And you know we still got to manufacture points. You know we've got we've. It's that same old thing. We kind of – if Nell has struggles tonight scoring, Bobby's pretty good. You know, we just don't get enough from Ula, who plays a lot of minutes, and Yo, who had some pretty good looks. So it's still building those those people around, those two great players that we have, that we can get six and eight points from, you know, multiple people. And, and um, But, I, you know, Lynn comes off the bench and has a pretty good day. So there's a lot of positives in the minutes that we got from people. And, again, against one of the best – defensive teams in the country and, and had some success against it. So uh, I'm I'm nothing but encouraged. And, um, and yeah, we're competitive and we want to win. And we'll kick ourselves in a million ways of why, why I didn't call a timeout or why we didn't run something that should have worked better. But uh, that's the game. There's a million mistakes in the game, and we've just got to try to eliminate them and, and create shots and opportunities for ourselves to be a little bit more successful. Head back onto, onto the road next week. You go down to L.A. You're going to play at USC and UCLA. You've won each of your last two games on the road. What are you guys going to have to do to keep that keep that momentum going when you guys get down to Hollywood? Well, it's just, you know, yeah, go on the road and, and beat people on the road. I mean, it's not, not a bigger challenge. Um, just, again, I think we'll see a team in USC that is really hardcore defense and – and maybe a little bit like us, struggles to score a little bit. Uh, but obviously they beat UCLA, so they're on a very, very much a high. Um, just a, it's a, it's a challenging league. But 
I like our team. I like the effort. All we can do is work on us. All we can do is maintain and try to continue to grow our that intensity that's required, that toughness that's required, because uh, the teams, these two teams that we're playing, are athletic, and um, they can create a lot of extra possessions for themselves if you don't if you don't match that physicality of the game. So, another challenge, a different challenge, but similar in a million ways. And and but I like traveling with this group, and I think we we've we've done a pretty good job of of being very businesslike and and being what we need to be to to try to find some success on the road.